The new landscaper gives you the power to generate new landscapes and terrains so you truly can create your own worlds for iClone. For the citizen directors, this means you can create that incredible 3D mountain range or your alien world vistas. For certified content developers, you can create the terrains that fit together like puzzles to create incredible terrain packs or the unique terrain you need for your specialized content. But before we begin, let me show you a few things we need to do to set up our map. But I will use the default map so you can see the differences that I make by changing a few of the parameters. First, let's turn off LOD, or Level of Detail. This makes it easier to edit the mesh on the landscape. Then, make sure you turn off the color and detail textures. You can leave lighting on for now. Make sure your color mode is also set at Add minus Half. There will be more tutorials for advanced users, and this will be discussed more in depth there. Next, let's turn off Fog, so we can see our creation clearly. Then the last step, turn off the underground. This will make the terrain seem to float, but in reality this is what we want, because now the lowest part of our terrain will be where the grid is in iClone 3. Ok, now we saw how to do this, let's start a new map. When we start a new map, we have to determine the size. 513 by 513 is the basic size, and that means it is 5.13 meters square. But that seems awfully small for terrain, but no worries, this can easily be corrected during the export section of this tutorial, so leave the number at 513 by 513 to begin with. As for textures, leave it at 512 for now. There will be a tutorial specifically for advanced users on textures, so let's press OK and generate a clean slate map. And once again, let's do the setup. So, LOD, color detail are off, color mode is set to add minus half, and fog and underground, turn them off. Also, to set the height parameter is very important. We have a scale that we can use. For me, I personally like to set to the highest setting. Notice how our terrain moves up. Let me turn back on the underground so you can see the difference. Here the height is set low, here the height is set in the middle, and this is the highest setting. Notice the huge differences. 